Welcome to Chelmsford Museum, set in five acres of the award-winning Oaklands Park. With its own parking facilities, tennis courts and a play area. Oh, and a cannon from the Crimean War. The museum is housed in the Grade II listed building of Oakland's House, which was built in 1865 in the Italianate style, based on Osborne House, Queen Victoria's family home on the Isle of Wight. The modern extension was added in 2010 and has doubled the size of the museum. Our new foyer has the interactive exhibition Bright Sparks, which highlights Chelmsford's world-beating industries. The post-medieval agricultural town gradually developed the communications and infrastructure needed to attract modern industry. The Chelmer and Blackwater navigation arrived in 1797, followed by the railway in 1843. The three groundbreaking technologies that Chelmsford is best known for are Marconi's wireless telegraphy, Crompton's arc lighting and electrical engineering, and Hoffman's roller bearings. Which are all represented here. Upstairs you will find another museum within the museum as the Essex Regiment Museum features history of the county's regiment from its creation in 1741 through to its amalgamation into the Royal Anglian in the 1950s. Highlights include the Napoleonic Eagle captured from the French at the Battle of Salamanca in 1812, The oil painting of the last stand at Gandamak in Afghanistan in 1842. And everyday objects, such as this teddy bear given as a keepsake to a soldier in World War I by his sister. The museum also displays several groups of medals, including a number of Victoria crosses. Servicemen who did their national service may remember their kit inspection. Next door, you will see a smaller display about the history of the Essex Yeomanry. We have an education room suite with beautiful views over the park that is used by schools and the local community, as well as for corporate hire. As we go over the bridge, we leave the modern part of the museum and go into the 1865 house. Here you will find the colorful glazed Victorian pottery, Castle Heddingham ware, modern ceramics, which include pots by Joanna Constantinidis, and a work from the Turner Prize-winning potter, Grayson Perry, who grew up in Chelmsford. Next door is our fabulous collection of Georgian drinking glasses, with their intricate stems decorated with spirals of air. In our music room, you can see and hear some of Chelmsford's vibrant music scene, from the days of the big bands held at the Corn Exchange through to the coming of popular music. Punk, and more recently, the annual V Festival. 
Moving along, we come to Chelmsford sports clubs and societies, which include the Essex County Cricket Club and Chelmsford City Football Club. Remember Chelmsford Carnival? Watch images from the past whilst the children can enjoy dressing up. On the upper landing, a gallery features works of art from the City Council's own art collection, with differing themes on display each year. Children will enjoy getting up close to the local wildlife. And one of our most popular exhibits is of a live observation beehive. In the summer, watch for the bees' famous waggle dance with their legs laden with pollen as they fly into the hive from outside via this walkway. The Victorian house features a lovely wooden staircase with pictures of Sir Nicholas Tyndall, a famous lawyer of his day, and one of our most beloved exhibits, a brown bear called Boris, who was shot by a local doctor and big game hunter, Dr Salter, in 1905 in Russia. The ground floor of the old part of the museum has a small geological display. Before following the story of Chelmsford, from the Ice Age, with artefacts and remains from that period. Through to the Roman town of Caesar Omegas, with its reconstructed kitchen. Local Saxon finds, which include this 7th century golden garnet pendant. The founding of the modern town of Chelmsford in 1199. And medieval monuments such as the Dominican Friary in Molsham and Pleshy Castle. And ending with a Tudor kitchen. Admire the Georgian codestone font from Chelmsford Cathedral before diving into the more recent history of the city, which is told in a series of themes such as medicine, law and order, schooling, where the children can again dress up, pubs, shopping and civic life. This room features a German model the Marconi and Hoffman factories of New Street. This was found after the Second World War in a German airfield and had been used by the Luftwaffe to recognize factories for bombing. Opposite is a reconstructed Victorian kitchen with its range. The story of Chelmsford is completed with the rise of modern industries, which we have already looked at. The museum also houses temporary exhibitions. This one features one of Chelmsford's famous night spots that closed in 2012 after some 30 years. The exhibitions are for a limited time only and change about five times per year. Admission to the museum is free and facilities include toilets, a vending machine area and a small souvenir shop. The museum is completely accessible for wheelchairs and children's buggies. We hope you enjoyed this brief tour of Chelmsford Museum and we do hope that you will come and visit us very soon.
For details, visit our website www.chelmsford.gov.uk forward slash museums or call 01245 605 700.